today we got a little problem with our ICOM IC745. I uh, have it for quite a while, but I never used it with an amplifier. Uh, apparently, the auxiliary connector on the back doesn't work. Uh, so to get there, you need to take pretty much any cover plate off. I did that already. Um, if you take the top off on the 45, make sure you don't rip it just off. There is a speaker wire which sits here. I had it off already, which goes down here. When I got the radio, uh, I had no audio at all, so I basically tracked that down to the connector being loose on the PC board, so I resoldered that because I think it's been pulled out for quite a few times. Uh, so get the top cover off, get the bottom cover off. There are a bunch of screws around here and at the bottom as well. And then you can pull the, the rear unit away. Uh, be careful, the wires are pretty short. And what actually happened is so there is a connector inside and if you look very closely you can see it's not plugged in. Someone messed around with some other wires but that's all. The aux that's the auxiliary connector and the second row leftmost pin is the PTT output for the PA. And uh, so we're gonna put the plug back in and try it. So it just turned out that <coughs> life isn't always that easy as you think. You're gonna pinch the connector out of the panel otherwise you can't get it off far enough and all you do is basically just pushing these tabs and then you can push the connector inside and then you can get the panel out as far as you need. And here we can see someone fitted a wire here. I wonder where it goes to. It certainly goes to the bottom somewhere. We'll figure out what that is. Um, what is that connection? That's the one, two, three. That's the third from the bottom left. Let's see what we have here. That's R, T, T, Y, keying, mark and space. Okay, maybe someone put that up to the microphone or so. I don't know. I'll figure that out. Because that doesn't look right to me. It's certainly not factory. So, whatever they did. Anyway, um, it's just getting that little connector back into the panel here. Hopefully that's fairly visible, is it? There's a row of connectors at the back, and uh, I think it's clear where it goes to. But uh, yeah, that needs to go back. The reason why I'm looking after the radio is uh, I usually, that's my backup radio, I don't use it very often, uh, but my 751 got a problem with um, some humming noise on the audio, on the microphone audio, uh, I need to look at that, uh, and probably need to give it a look over and do a few adjustments, so that's going to come soon as well uh, when we do the 751. Uh, channel inspection and test. Yeah, the reason why we need the amplifier keying is the FL2100 is now on the sh on the shelf here. It works. I'm still waiting for the new tubes. Uh, they should appear at some point, but it does well, um, considering what the state of the tubes is. All right. Anyway, um, let's get that connector back and figure out what that wire is, and then hopefully the thing works. Well, someone wired it to the microphone plug because the microphone plug is here and that's that grey wire is the one which comes from the back here. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it's good for, but uh, we'll just leave that alone. While we're at, we're looking for bad components, burnt components, uh, bad looking capacitors, things like that. Um, I've just noticed this radio has the original battery in it so might be a good idea to change it at some point uh, what we're gonna do is we check the voltage at least to make sure it's not that because if this battery is dead um, the radio won't work anymore 
I have some boards from this Italian guy, I can't remember the, um, the call sign, but um, I have one in my 271 as well, uh, but I have never touched this one. Um, yeah. The radio itself was, was an eBay find and um, yeah, it was okay. I, th I think it had a display problem because one of these flat ribbon cables were out. Um, well, not properly connected. Uh, apparently, someone messed around in the radio for whatever reason. Um, it didn't take very long to get it back to life, so nothing in particular. All right, I'm gonna have a quick look into the PA section just to make sure there's no bunk comp uh, components while it's open, and uh, then we we'll check it out and see if the PA output works now or the PTT output works. Well, and that's how the PA section looks like, apart from. Looks like there was some water going into and uh, a bit rusty the cover. Uh, it looks okay, no weird looking components. And everything seems to be in order. So, we we'll give it a bit of a clean. And we'll fire it up. So, we got it back together. Um, there were a few bolts missing here on the back as well. Uh, you probably can get access by removing just this cover, but I think you're not gonna get your fingers up there, or maybe it's possible um, if I would have known the connector was out. Uh, because that's, I think that's for some, I think it's an interface panel or something like that, which I don't have anyway. Alright, let's fire that thing up and see if it works. So that looks promising. Uh, that's what you normally see, about 6.5-7 volts uh, on receive. And let's switch that to transmit. And it's going down on transmit to zero. So the PTT is working now. So we can replace the 751 with this one. And we have a working radio and uh, then we look into the um, into the 751 there's, look, there's another problem with this radio the meter light doesn't work it's been disconnected for some reason uh, I just didn't have the nerve to go into it because I, I just need a radio um, again I haven't used that radio for a long time and uh, yeah I think that meter light was always dead I, I just couldn't be bothered to replace it because I always have lights on, so it doesn't really matter if it's on or off. It looks better if it's on, yeah, okay. Alright, uh, let's put that in, in place of the 751 and uh, give it a try. Okay, we're just checking the output on all the bands. Doing well over 100 watts, that's 80 meters. That's 40. That's 10 megahertz. 20 meters, 17, 15, and 10. So, PA works. Um, not too bad, actually. Uh, let's see if the PA keying is working here. Okay, we the PA is tuned already on that frequency because I used that earlier. So all we need to do is getting our drive power down a little bit. Let's do this. I just noticed the carrier pot has a bit of, of a problem here. And uh, it's either full or nothing. I'm getting there. Okay. So let's key the PA and uh, this thing does quite a bit of power here. Driving 250 milliamps on the on the PA. That's uh, 250 watts or so. So it works with the PA. Um, I'm not unhappy with that. Full range of that meter is 300 watts, so uh, that's fine. I'm still running the dull tubes. So. 
we won't see any any more than about 250 milliamps for those tubes it's just because they're gone um, okay let's fly it on the air and uh, but most importantly let's let's listen to the audio if that's clean and before on lower side we had a, a humming noise which we don't have anymore so as we can hear this transceiver doesn't have the humming problem if I tune slightly offbeat we can hear it there But there's no the the audio is is clear, which wasn't on the the 751. We should see that in a minute. So it's almost it's around midnight, and the signal is looking good here. Sounds okay to me, and uh, we'll give someone a shout and try it out. So we just noticed another problem. Watch that knob here. It seems the encoder is loose inside. Uh, we need to, we need to look into that as well, but it works for now. So. We'll look at this one here now and see what's wrong with that. Alright. That should be it from the IC745 for now. I'll do a few test calls and see what it what it sounds like and uh, a local friend should come up soon and uh, let's just give it a try. And uh, I wasn't really intending to do a repair video of the 745 but uh, all I want to do is hook it up as a backup radio so I can run the radio, but uh, it appeared it's not working. So now we we got it at least working. We got a few things to do on it. Uh, I think it sounds okay. It looks okay in a spectrum analyzer. Uh, not too not too weird. It works with a PA. Uh, it puts out quite a bit of power. So we'll stay with it as it is and. Uh, until the 751 is repaired. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, until next time.